Hey, what's up out there, family and friends? It's your boy, the motivational teacher to the masses, bringing you these hits, high intensity trainings. And this video shall be no different. But before I do, please like, subscribe, and comment to this video. This channel can be the bridge from where you are today to where you want to be tomorrow. And today shall be no different. For a brief moment, I want to focus on to embrace the 40% rule. Yep, embrace the 40% rule. The 40% rule goes something like this. When I think I've done all that I can, there's nothing else left in the tank. The 40% rule say, yep, yeah, I got 60, 60% remaining that I need to keep pushing. I need to go a little harder. I need to do more. Yep. Talking about the 40 percent rule ladies and gentlemen it's tied into your mental toughness how tough are you when things when things are not going your way when you feel that you work your last moment when you feel you've given your last cent when you think you've given yourself you've done the most you can for your spouse when you believe that you've done all you can do on your job ladies and gentlemen you have 60 percent more in the tank how mental tough are we mental toughness is when you find few and a tank that we perceive to be empty. Yep, let me say that again. Mental toughness is when we find fuel in a tank that we perceive to be in empty. Ladies and gentlemen, there is more. The average human only uses 10% of their brain. 90% is lying dormant. Ladies and gentlemen, that is so much stuff on the inside of us that we don't know how to work it out. But I tell you, in order to get it out, you have to be willing to push past the pain. You have to be willing to push past the fatigue. You have to be willing to embrace the suck. You got to understand that this life is not going to go your way all the time. You, you either coming in a storm, going, going out of a storm, or you're in the midst of a storm. But this life wasn't meant to be full of rose petals and rose buds. Adversity builds the human, baby. Adversity makes you, it, it, is your camouflage to the rest of the troubles of this world. Adversity is what makes you strong. It's not what you're good at that makes you great. It's the things that you're willing to improve upon that makes you great. I just broke bread. If, if your only life desire is that I was born this way, this is how the way I'm always going to be, or or I, when people say something to me, you know, I, 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 I clap back, or if you're that person that always feel that everything you do has to be brute strength and you you don't ever work with your mind ladies and gentlemen you will live an average lifestyle you were meant to evolve and in, and in order to evolve you have to see trials and tribulation as a growth position as a growth point it's not about the trials being in your life it's about you overcoming the trials where you get stronger i just broke bread it's about the situation where you thought you can't overcome it's where you overcome i remember when i went to college at vanderbilt university i spent all four years trying to keep something in the tank i wonder if i had given myself completely if I wasn't worried about fatigue when I was playing ball, if I wasn't trying to see how many more we had to run and I just ran that one sprint with everything I had and not worry about the one behind it. I got to dominate the now, ladies and gentlemen. That's mental toughness. Yeah. I got to focus on the moment that's before me. If I lose this moment right now before me, I lose an opportunity tomorrow. I can't focus on what I don't have. I got to put my energy and emphasis in what I do have. Yep. Three ways. Peace. Three ways to embrace the 40% rule. When you get tired, you got 60% to go. Number one, you got to put aside things you have no ability to impact. You have to put, a, uh, put aside things you have no ability to impact. Roger Federer, arguably the greatest tennis player of all time, has six Wimbledon championships, but his first three he lost in the first round. I'm breaking bread right now. It's not about the it's not about the wins and losses. It's not about what didn't work. It's about what did I learn from that situation? What did I learn from that problem that 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 can be put into my life further on down the road so I don't have to embrace that same situation. Put things aside that you have no ability to, to impact. I can't change what's, what 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 comment the coach is going to make us run today. I can't change what bills are coming in tomorrow. I can't change the how the economy flows. I can't change COVID-19. But what I can do is put my energy into starting my online business. What I can do is put my energy into making sure I cover up my mask and I use hand sanitizer. I focus on the things that I can impact. A solution oriented. The world is looking for people that have solutions. Number two, never allow yourself to complain. I just broke bread. 
Never allow yourself to, to have a pity party about what's going wrong in your life. Understand that if it's in your life, you're strong enough to overcome it. But it's going to require that we go farther than the 40% rule. Some of these things in our lives require that we pull out 80%, 100%. Some things in your life, ladies and gentlemen, are going to require that you pull out 120%. But you got to be willing to do it. And I can't complain about what I have to give in order to get where I am. I can't complain about what God uses to grow me. I just broke bread. All of us want to sit on top of the mountain, mountain, but nobody wants to climb it. Everybody wants the sunshine, but nobody wants to endure the rain. Yep, yep, yep. Joy is going to always come in the morning, ladies and gentlemen. We got to embrace this 40% rule. You need to start telling yourself when you get fatigued and you think there's nothing left in the tank, I got more. When you get there at the end of the month and you just look like everything looks like despair, I don't know how it's going to make it work. I got more. I have been created with ingenuity on the inside of me. I was created from the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There is more on the inside of me. It's impossible for a human body to go to go eat. When my tank go eat, I'll be ready to be put on the other side of the dirt. As long as we're on this side of the dirt, we have more. Yep, number three, which is my favorite. You gotta always count your blessings, ladies and gentlemen. There's always something. Have an attitude of gratitude. There's always something to be thankful for. Don't you dare walk away without understanding God has been good to you. No matter what situation you're in right now, he's been good to you. A lot of the things that you've been through, if anybody else had been through a lot of those things, they would have quit or given up, ladies and gentlemen. But you made it. You've given your 40%. Now, how do I shift from 40 to 50? I'm glad you asked motivational teacher to the masses. I gotta start improving my mind. I have to start putting things in my mind that benefit me long term. I have to renew my mind. I can't put old wine skin into new wine skin. I got to start improving myself in order to get there. You have more. We have to embrace the 40% rule. When you think it's all over, when you think you've given all you can got, all you can give, you got to squeeze that last drop. Why? Because greatness is not found in that, in that front 90%. Greatness is found in the last 10% that very few are willing. I wonder why we got the 1% club. The 1% club understood how to squeeze more out. I wonder why Michael Jordan, the greatest of all time, he understood how to how, how to get the last drop out. I wonder why Tiger Woods was on top of the world because he understood that I got to go a little bit further. I wonder why the people that are great I wonder why Harlan Sanders drove around the country at the age of 66 with a social security check trying to sell 11 herbs and spices. Why? I got to get the last drop out. Anthony David Williams, I wonder why now you're the motivational teacher to the masses. Why? Because I had to learn to squeeze the last drop out. Ladies and gentlemen, until you learn to get the last drop out the tank, you can never maximize your greatness. The average person only wants to give 40%. I am challenging you to find that 60 and 80% in you and make your way to 100. This is the motivational teacher to the masses. I am challenging you to wage war on mediocrity. Please like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell twice. This channel can be the bridge from where you are today to where you want to be tomorrow. And until next time, I am challenging you to wage war on mediocrity. Your boy is out.